Hey everyone, how's it going? Sorry for kind of whispering here. Um, it's actually like, what time is it? It's midnight right now and people are asleep. So, um, yeah, I'm in my garage. I just thought I'd do a quick video on this. I already tried this a couple times, but uh, interruptions occur. <laughs> um, but anyway, just watched this Spike VGA Awards. And my thoughts on it, so... Um, I mean, I think I speak for everyone when I say, like, uh, I don't watch the VGAs for the Video Game Awards. <laughs> I watch them for the, uh, you know, the exclusive content, the world premiere. Um, so, I mean, obviously, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, go over my thoughts with the presentation, and I'll talk about the content that was revealed. But, um, the overall presentation... Uh, this year's awards were a lot better than last year's. Last, last year's was horrible. Um, this year was pretty good. Um, the host was better, but, you know, I still think they need to make, have a better host. But, uh, he was, all, he was better than, uh, last year. Who was last year? Last year we had... Oh, Neil Patrick Harris. That's right. Um, but, so yeah, I mean, this, the host this time around was... A lot better. Um, he didn't joke as much, you know, which is cool. Uh, he was this. I mean, last last year's show was very slow. That was the thing. Last year's show was just slow. This year, um, this year's show was very just much. It was very much get to the point. You know, here are the awards for this show. The nominees are this, and the winners this. That's basically what they did. Um, yeah, it was just very much get to the point. Um, Skyrim won Game of the Year. No big surprise there. I mean, for me anyway. I mean, Skyrim is an amazing game. Um, Arkham City. Uh, the Joker won Character of the Year, uh, which is cool. Uh, Arkham City won Best Action Adventure Game, which is cool. Um, I think Portal 2 won a lot of stuff. I think Portal 2 won both Best Male and Female Actors. Um, best DLC. Even though there was only one for it so far. Best, um... I think Best Multiplayer too, But it's only co-op. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, it won a lot of awards. Um, but yeah, I think the big thing this year... Obviously, I think the big, the main reason people were watching this show were to see what the hell is The Last of Us. Now, originally before I saw the trailer, I'm like, hmm. Well, with a title like The Last of Us, the, uh, with a title like The Last of Us, the uh, game, the game could either be a, a lot of people were like, oh, apocalyptic, you know, game, and I was like, no, no apocalypse. I don't think it's apocalypse. I think, um, I, I mean, some people just think, think about zombie game, and, uh, I personally thought of this. I personally thought, okay, it's, it can be like an open world, you know, kind of survival game-ish, or it could be like a fight to save, maybe there's like a few humans available on Earth, and you're just fighting to stay alive, to keep the human race alive. That's what I thought. Um... I was kind of half right in a way. Uh, it is a survival game. Um, I think I'm not sure where it takes place. We didn't hear that much about it. All we saw was a cool pre-rendered trailer, which looked amazing. First of all, the game's being developed by Naughty Dog, the team behind Uncharted. I have a couple things to say about that. Um, now, usually, now Naughty Dog always said that oh, we only work on one game per generation. They worked on Jack and Daxter for the PS2. They worked on, um, they did, I think they did Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot for, uh, the original PlayStation. And this, you know, this generation, they were working on Uncharted for PS3. But The Last of Us is going to be a PS3 exclusive. The Last of Us is coming out on PS3. So, I'm kind of like, okay, what's that going to mean for Uncharted? Is Uncharted 3 the last game? You know, because if that's the case, I don't really think that that's a good end to this series. Because Uncharted 3 ended, it ended, and it didn't give us a 
It didn't give us a defining ending to the series, you know? Nathan Drake isn't done. You can literally do, like, all these adventures with Nathan Drake. That's the great thing about the series. Um, I always thought that Uncharted 4 was going to be the, uh, the last Uncharted coming out in 2013. Um, but it appears that now they're going to be working on The Last of Us. I mean, the team, Naughty Dog is very small. They have, like, 150 people, I think, in their studio. They're very small. Um, so they take about two years to make a game, the average, take about two years. Um, so, you know, um, The Last of Us coming up on PS3, I mean, we didn't get an official release date. I think, I'm telling you right now, based off of speculation, I think that it's coming out probably late 2013. Late 2013. Um, but what's that going to mean for Uncharted 4, you know? If there's one. <laughs> is Uncharted 4 going to be a launch title for PS3? In that case, I think it'd be a smart move by Sony. And a smart move by uh, Naughty Dog. Um, just because, you know, a lot of people are going to go out and buy a PS3, or a PlayStation 4, just to play Uncharted 4. You know, that would be a cool idea. But at the same time, it's like, okay. You know, what else? You know, I mean... It's a new IP, which I'm glad, you know, it's not, it looks very original, and I hope, uh, I hope it plays out really well, but we're just gonna have to see, I mean, we're definitely gonna see gameplay for E3, um, 2012, so we're excited to see that, and, uh, yeah, what else, um, they showed Mass Effect 3, the Mass Effect 3 trailer with gameplay, looks hectic, Mass Effect 3 won most anticipated game, I voted for Bioshock Infinite, but, um, Mass Effect 3 looks sick, um, can't wait to get that, can't wait to, for that game to come out, it looks really hectic, it looks much more, um, action-packed, like, blow everything up, um, kind of like Uncharted 2, like, the non-stop action, that's what Mass Effect 3 looks like. <clears throat> um, Bioshock Infinite got shown, got, uh, got a little trailer, pretty cool, I'm excited for that, I don't, we still don't have a release date on Bioshock. Which, I'm kind of like, okay, when is it coming out? Because I can't wait to play that. It's going to be sick. Um, Blizzard did some stuff with Diablo 3, but I'm not into Blizzard. I, I never played World of Warcraft, alright? I never played World of Warcraft. I'm not into that type of fantasy, you know, stuff at all. Alright, Skyrim's an exception. But I'm, I was never into the, you know, fantasy stuff at all. Alright, so I'm not playing World of Warcraft. So I really don't care about Diablo. You know, it's just, it's just not my type of game. I'm not into that whole MMO, you know, puzzle, strategy type game uh, like World of Warcraft. Um, people were teasing a new Batman game. I guess when Joker won Character of the Year, he was, um, he took a file, right? It was like a file, I guess it had like some voice notes in it, right? And he's like, I would like to think, and he's like, oops, guess I won't be needing this anymore. And he's like, oh. Spoiler alert, right? Because, spoiler alert, the Joker died in Arkham City. So, um, you can't get mad at me for saying that if you didn't beat the game. I mean, I said spoiler alert. But anyway, yeah, he dropped the, uh, he dropped uh, the file and people were like, oh my gosh, Arkham World, there's another Batman coming out. I mean, I don't think... I don't think that it would be a smart move. I mean, Rocksteady's already proven that they can make Batman a great game and a great character to play with. Um, they already proved that with Arkham Asylum and now Arkham City. They already proved that Batman can be great. Batman can climb to the top. I think it would be more appropriate if Rocksteady would get another superhero, like Superman or something like that, and, um, you know have him rise up or something like that like make make an awesome superman game i just don't think another batman game would be you know cool you know i just don't think that would be you know a good move i think people are just gonna be like oh it's batman you know and they already made arkham arkham city is already a huge world to roam around in so i mean arkham world what's that gonna be like <laughs> but yeah I guess that's it. Um, I went to the Naughty Dog website. They changed their whole site. It's all about The Last of Us now. Uh, so you can go check that out. Um, we only know two characters so far. 
Uh, but I can't wait to I can't wait to find out more. Um, definitely see gameplay on the game. I can't wait for that. Like I said, I'd like to know what's gonna happen with Uncharted 4 if there's gonna be one. Um, like I said, what it looks like at the moment is Last of Us for 2013, and 2014 is gonna probably be the consoles. You know, by then we'll probably have next gen consoles. But probably for 2014, PS4, and then boom, you know, Uncharted 4 being a launch title. That would be smart. That would be the system seller. Because Uncharted is already the system selling game for the PS3. I mean, it's just the facts. There's no other exclusive out there that's that can basically... There's no other exclusive out there that's, that's more of a reason to get a PS3 than Uncharted. You know, so... Anyway, that was my thoughts. Um... Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know what you think on The Last of Us. I'd really like to hear your guys' thoughts and uh, either compare or contrast them with mine. I'll keep you guys updated as usual. Um, more Skyrim footage. Channel update tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.